Alrighty guys, what's going on? Welcome back to a brand new video and today we're going to be talking about the Blu-ray exclusives for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 and yeah, I'm really excited to talk about these because they all look really good. i um, going to have a hard time choosing one, I think. Um, but yeah, so overall, I just think that, uh, just to talk about the movie for a second, I thought that the movie was a really good ending to the to the Guardians trilogy. Um, you know, it, it, it wasn't perfect, I wouldn't say. I still think that I... As of now, I've only seen it once, so I still think that Guardians 2 is maybe a little bit better. Um, but I definitely need to see it again. It's definitely one that I want to see again. Um, so I will be hopefully watching it either when I get it on Blu-ray or when it comes out on Disney+. Plus. Um, but yeah, I really, really enjoyed what they did, except for maybe... There were a few choice things at the end that I wasn't necessarily a big fan of. And... Well, I guess it's not necessarily that I wasn't a fan of them. It was more so just, like, they felt kind of, like, rushed towards the end there. Um, so, yeah, I think I, I think that's kind of my only issue. There's a, there's a couple, you know, other small things that are, like, kind of nitpicky that I have with this movie. But other than that, I, it's definitely a great watch. If you haven't seen it in theaters, I would recommend seeing it in theaters. Um, but, yeah, I definitely see this on the biggest screen you can, even if that screen is at home. But, yeah, so, anyway, we're going to start off with the Guardians of the Galaxy Steelbook from Best Buy. Um, and, yeah, I think that this looks really great. I really like the front cover, the uh, the outside Steelbook. Uh, you get pretty much any of the characters that you see throughout the movie, uh, even some of the more villainy characters inside the, uh, the smaller circle with the High Evolutionary there. Um and the Guardians filling out that Ravenger logo. Um, you even get the Bowie up in the, the top left. I think that that's really cool. Uh, the spine's really awesome. Uh, it's it's nothing special. I don't know if those designs are anything specific from the movie. I don't really remember, but uh, it looks pretty cool. Um, and then Rocket on the back, you know. It, it, this is more so Rocket's movie than anybody else's, so that makes a lot of sense uh, that, that, that he would be on the back. I don't know. I, I'm not necessarily... I wish that they had kind of kept in line with the other two steelbooks, because I believe that the other two had the uh, the mixtapes, and um, I wish that maybe they had added, like, the Zune on the back or something, because that's also a pivotal um, item throughout the movie, so maybe something different, but I, I am glad that this is what we get, um, and I'm, I'm happy with it either way. Um, so then we have, uh, on the inside, we have the, the team shot from uh, from the movie, um, with all the Guardians, um, and, you know, I wasn't necessarily a big fan of this at first, but honestly, I don't know what else they could have done that would have been, you know, as representative of the Guardians, so I think that it's fine, um, Rocket kind of looks a little weird there, kind of, like, shoved in on the left side, um, I think that's maybe what my issue was with it at first, is it looks a little odd when you kind of, like, look at it from the perspective of how it should be shot versus how they, like, implemented it inside the Steelbook, so maybe that's what it was at first. I wasn't necessarily a big fan, but I think it's really good. Um, and then the two the two discs, we have uh, Rocket on the 4K and Groot on the Blu-ray. And honestly, this is a solid option. I think any of these options are really solid, which unfortunately, there's only two exclusives. The second one being at Walmart. I don't know why they've stopped doing Target exclusives. Those used to be my favorites and used to be the ones that I always get, but they've stopped doing them. So... Um, I'm not sure why. If anybody if anybody knows, let me know in the comments. But I really like this one too, uh, the Walmart one. The Walmart ones always come with these exclusive pens, which I've never owned one of the Walmart exclusives, so I don't know how good the pens are or anything like that, but it's still a little nice addition, I guess. Um, this one I really like because it's reminiscent of the, the final uh, little picture that they have at the end of the movie where it's all the Guardians kind of like sitting on that white background. I think that that's really cool. And honestly, again, anything is better than like the floating heads shots that they do for these posters and stuff. So, uh, I like that you kind of get to see all of the, all the characters and all of their, their, their bodies and whatnot. I think that's really cool. Um, the back's kind of, I assume this is what the back of the regular Blu-ray is, but the front's really what we care about. And this is a really solid option too. And honestly, um, you can't really compare price between these two anymore because this is thirty seven thirty nine, which is, you know, Walmart's always got weird prices, but this one's thirty eight ninety nine, and honestly, that's one of the things that's kept me from, from getting these Blu rays recently is just the fact that forty dollars for a steelbook is a little crazy to me. Um, I don't have, um, Wakanda Forever or Quantum Mania because of that. They they were both still thirty eight ninety nine. Uh, I bought the Thor one because it was like, right at the start of Steelbook's 
increasing prices and honestly i should have waited on that but you know it's okay um but yeah i think you know you can't really compare price anymore because they're all going to be about 40 dollars from here on out so unfortunately that's just what we're gonna have to deal with but uh, before we talk about just the which one i prefer let's take a look at this one according to blu-ray.com uh if you're a member of the disney movie club you can also get this exclusive blu-ray um that's exclusive to the disney movie club and it's i believe the teaser poster for the movie um just the the guardian standing on the bowie and this is really good i really kind of wish that this was the standard blu-ray but honestly if we go let's see if i can find the standard blu-ray because it's also really good um I'm just gonna we're gonna take a second here because I think that honestly this is some of the best like standard Blu-ray stuff that we've that we've seen in a little bit. Um, so yeah, I really like this one too. Honestly, any of these editions would be fantastic. Um, you get the st the 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 regular poster, I believe. Um, I don't know why they still do DVDs because they're like about the same price as as Blu-rays. But also thirty dollars for just a standard Blu-ray is also kind of insane. Uh, at least 4Ks standardly have not changed in prices yet. But yeah, 30 bucks almost for a regular Blu-ray is kind of insane. So I don't know what's going on with inflation or these prices, but that's that's kind of crazy. But anyway, we're talking about exclusives. And all of these covers look good. Um, so yeah, any of these I would I would say would be would be looking cool on your shelf. But Again, if I'm going to pick one, unfortunately for Walmart, I think I'm going to have to go with the Steelbook. Um, maybe wait for it to go out of stock, or not out of stock, on, on clearance. Um, that's kind of what I'm waiting for. I'm hoping for, I don't know, maybe they'll have like a Best Buy day where I can get the, the Quantum Mania and the um, Wakanda Forever Steelbooks, and maybe this one too. I don't know that I'll necessarily pick this up at launch. I used to be like, Oh, I gotta get it at launch, you know, I just want to get it as soon as possible, but now it's like, with the prices being so high, it's, it's not necessarily top of my list anymore, especially since they're close to, if not day and date with Disney Plus too, so, uh, I'm hoping to get them, also, you know, I, I'll probably mess up one day and not get one and then miss out on an exclusive, but, so don't do that if you really want the exclusives, but, um, yeah, honestly, if I'm gonna pick one, it would probably be the, uh, the Best Buy Steelbook yet again. So let me know what you guys uh, think about Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, which version you're going to pick up. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.